Okay, it is um, October the 15th today and beautiful 10 degrees at this moment, which is about 50 Fahrenheit. And um, it's going up to 17 today, which is about 62 degrees Fahrenheit. Really a beautiful, beautiful uh, mid-October day. And, um, and it, you look at the plants and you can see that the tops are all dead because earlier this week we had a surprising frost and I had no protection uh, at all on the plants. But the plants are all pretty small and um, the number of peppers that I've gotten from them, very small. Like I'm, I know in the past I've had like a thousand peppers and um, this year uh, I'll be surprised if I have a hundred. <laughs> so um, got off to a late start but really uh, uh, it's still growing season here in, at this time outside of that one freak uh, frost that we had but um, uh, the, pep the peppers just weren't there for me this year so not a great year but uh, you know I've enjoyed having the peppers anyway and I've given plants to a lot of people and they've all been telling me that they're doing very well with them. Uh, Peruvian Iron Co is a very sweet and delicious pepper which uh, works on everything I mean there's no no doubt about it it has a heat of about 60,000 Scoville units so not as hot as say a habanero anything like that but it's got a nice little heat and um, I generally use a couple of them and whatever I'm preparing so it's um, it's pretty nice and uh, I really like it then uh, the Bishop's Crown they're beautiful looking peppers not as sweet but um, you know and even the heat isn't quite as much as the uh, uh, Peruvian, Peruviano Iron Seal, but I decided to give it a try um, this this year and see how they are. I might not use, do them again, but they do. Uh, they provide a kind of a different kind of a heat, and the flavor is different. So yeah, I mean, uh, they're just they're just really ornamental to me. They look very nice. So this is it. This is how my year has turned out. I'll probably pick all the peppers that are ripe and make sure that I don't lose them in another freak frost. And then maybe just leave all the rest on and see if, the, if anything happens with them. And uh, basically that's everything that I wanted to say about the peppers. Um, I'm going to mention that uh, my son and his girlfriend were growing uh, pumpkins in their garden this year. And my son picked a couple of branches, stuck them in the ground and I laughed because I said this is never going to do anything you can't just stick a branch in the ground and then they rooted and took off and I've cut this back this was really big and all over the plants and so I cut cut it all down didn't really do anything and you can see it's it was really affected by the frost because it was um, it was fine until last week and um, this one surprisingly grew behind here it's probably a mess back here and um, there's a there's a pumpkin so I don't know if it's um, like it's been uh, growing back here. I think it's probably it's a mini pumpkin actually. So it's probably not going to get bigger than that. But it's just kind of kind of a funny surprise that I found. I'll also mention I've got a bumper crop of grapes, which I'm going to be picking. Uh, I'm probably going to leave it now because I've just discovered that a bunch of wasps have found their way into the grapes. All right. <laughs> so I'm just going to maybe... Uh, very gingerly because I didn't even I haven't seen a wasp in a month and I thought they were all dead and then today I'm looking at it going okay I wanted to show my grapes and I saw a bunch of wasps flying around and I don't want to get stung they're nasty nasty and they're all drunk on grapes so they're more belligerent get away from our grapes no they're my grapes anyway so that's it Trying to be careful with the camera so I don't look like I'm hallucinating. Here we go. Yeah, good. Cool. Coolio. But this is what happens. I mean, the leaves all, all uh, start to die and fall off. And then the grapes are just there. And, uh, you know, they really have to have a good frost. Usually, like a little bit of snow on the ground. I like them to freeze. And then, uh, and then they're a little sweeter. I think they, some of the liquids uh, evaporate or become condensed. And uh, then it's sweeter, like making nice wine. Anyway, that's about all that I wanted to uh, to say. And uh, I see it's about five minutes, and that's probably long enough. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Thanks for following my adventures and misadventures with the with the uh, pepper plants. I'm gonna desperately try to get these uh, plants started in January so that I have a better shot at having nice big plants full of peppers for the 2024 growing season which I hope you'll also be interested in following. Thank you very much.